Hey there YouTube, Wrestling Optimus here, back with my Wrestlemania weekend unboxing video. Now, technically it's not going to be much of an unboxing video considering most of the stuff is already out of its packaging, it's really more of a show and tell. However, that felt kind of juvenile, which is ironic coming from a guy who plays with toys in his basement. Anyway, let's take a look at all the stuff I got over Wrestlemania weekend in Philadelphia. First up, at the GCW show, I got a grinder. Yes, I do smoke marijuana. And uh, that's really cool. Um, it's a very unique item. I don't think I've ever seen that at a wrestling show before. Um, pretty standard, but it does have the GCW logo on it. Jen not only met Maki Ito, but got this signed print, says to Jenny. So we're going to hang that up somewhere. At one of the art booths, we got this Cactus Jack slash Mick Foley. Not really sure um, who it's supposed to be there, but it's a really nice piece. We got a bunch of stickers, including this The Fig Cave, which is like some type of Pilsner, but I can't remember which logo they're parodying there. Um, we have this amazing Murder Death Kawaii sticker. That is the tag team of Maki Ito and Nick Gage. And that's just a really cool design for both of them. And finally, at least of the stickers, we have this Bob's Burgers parody. It's Rob's Burgers, and it features, uh, I guess, people from the Ugly Sucklings, who did a little promo bump for me. And that was at one of the uh, GCW Collective shows. Next up, we have a Danhausen comic. This was a WrestleCon exclusive. It's part of his Tales from the Road series, and I'll be honest, I only got this one because it was the cheapest. But yes, this is an actual comic book written by Dan Housen, so I can't wait to read that. Next up, if you watched my WrestleCon video, then you saw that I got to meet the Gothic Baby and Rebby Hardy, and this is their book, Life of a Gothic Baby. And so it's all about uh, Matt Hardy's kid, I know the oldest is King Maxwell. I'm not really sure what Gothic Baby's actual name is, but this appears to be like a children's book. So, you know, it's just nice because it does say to Jenny stay spooky and signed by Rebby Hardy. And uh, hey, look at that, a punk with a green mohawk. It's like me. But yeah, it's gonna be a kid's book. It'll just be interesting to see. I will say that artwork is very, very nice. Last but certainly not least, we are going to unbox one thing, and that is Masters of the WWE Universe Finn Balor. Now, unfortunately in my area, there's not really a lot of these that have been out in stores. I do have the green ring, and one of my original favorite wrestlers, Kane, from the Attitude Era, since they came out with a version of him on this line. But currently, one of my favorite wrestlers is Finn Balor. I have a ton of figures from Finn Balor, and it was finally time to find this and buy it. I wasn't really trying to spend a lot at WrestleCon. I figured I'd keep it to one figure. And again, I've been looking everywhere for this. So let's open it up and let it breathe. First of all, it comes with this kind of super mini comic book. It's really only uh, one page of actual panels. Um, but it's all about this, I guess, character of, uh, Masters of the WWE Universe, Finn Balor. So I guess he has, like, a cool backstory. Now, I know nothing about the whole He-Man universe, so if this figure is based on a character from there, I'm not gonna understand the reference. What I do know is this figure looks really, really cool. We have his head kind of sunk into this uh, whole piece. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it does come off. I'm not going to take it all the way off for now, but I'll just kind of spin it around so you can see. Those abs, probably still not as good as Finn Balor's actual real-life abs. They are amazing. I remember the one year he was voted best abs in the whole company. But uh, we're going to put that back over there I guess that's some kind of battle armor or whatever again if that's a reference to something I'm not gonna get it 
There we go. This is one of those kind of stick the tab in there. Um, it's this kind of rubbery stuff. Um, always hard to get back in, but whatever, I figured it out. And then the last piece, since it is the Demon Finn Balor version, it does come with these uh, armband things. Kind of supposed to be uh, his tassels or whatever they're called. It does come with two red and two black of these tassel things. So you can do kind of what I did here, uh, putting them both on each arm, or you can just do one at a time, have either black or red, or go crazy and have one red, one black. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. That is a nice accessory. The gauntlets are cool, the armor's cool. I love the tassel things. And uh, if you can see the face sculpt, it's actually very, very nice too. But yeah, that's going to be the one actual unboxing that we do in this video. Otherwise, it was just to kind of show off all the merch that I got. I had an absolute blast. I was uh, down in the city for, I think, four days all told. And everything I went to was incredible. I met tons of wrestlers. I got to see tons of wrestling. And some of it was really wild and unique. Other stuff was just really good wrestling. It was very technical. Um, other things were high-flying, action-packed, and despite not really following any of the promotions that I saw, I still got to enjoy some of the storylines. You could just kind of pick up on it from context clues and whatnot. A quick shout out to the Neon Ninja Facade and Danny Mo, who I've seen twice now in person, and they liked some of my tweets on X, so as far as I'm concerned, they're good people. Oh, I completely forgot to mention, at the Big Gay Brunch, I got this Effie figure, and then at WrestleCon, he signed it! How cool is that? But that's gonna do it for today. Let me know what you thought of all this stuff down there in the comments, and if you went to WrestleMania, let me know how your experience was. If you like this video, make sure to do all that normal YouTube stuff, smash the like button, share with any wrestling or action figure fans you may know, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. You can also talk to me over on X, just like those wrestlers, at WrestlingOptimist, or you can see all my best figure photography over on Instagram at WrestlingOptimist. If you haven't seen my latest video, it should be on screen now. But until next time, I've been Wrestling Optimist, and I'll catch you later.